Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, host of the Power Vertical Podcast, and this is The Daily Vertical. So does anybody remember Crimea? The UN General Assembly does. This week it passed a resolution recognizing the peninsula as temporarily occupied by Russia and condemning abuses against ethnic Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars. Amnesty International, it appears, also remembers Crimea. Last week, it issued a report on how Moscow and its local proxies have demanded, quote, total submission to the brute fact of Russia's annexation. And those who don't comply have been persecuted, exiled, or disappeared. Vladimir Putin's regime, of course, would like us all to forget about Crimea. It would like us all to submit to the brute facts that Moscow has created on the ground. Andrei Kamisarov, an official with Russia's Federal Nationalities Agency, recently spoke about the need to establish stricter controls on, quote, people arriving from Ukraine to Crimea, ignoring the legal fact that Crimea is Ukraine. Just over 1,000 days ago, Russia did something that nobody in Europe has done since the Second World War. Just over 1,000 days ago, the Putin regime committed an act that nobody in Europe has committed since the Third Reich. Just over 1,000 days ago, the Kremlin used brute force to change Europe's borders. And for the past 1,000 days and four weeks, they've been using brute force and deception to make the world accept this. Keep telling me what you think in the comments section, on the Power Vertical's Twitter feed, and on our Facebook page. I'm Brian Whitmore, and that was The Daily Vertical.